Okay, this is my home aquaponics set. I have two growth beds. And a 150 gallon fish pond. A few fishes there. Some koi. Some masher. And a few others that I can't really know what's the name. I'm using the bell valve system with a timer that control the water during the daytime. The pump, will, the water will be pumped during the daytime. At night, the pump will be stopped. But I have a very small drip that will drain the water slowly during the night, so that it will not have any. Uh, the root, the root will not be submerged in water when the pump stop. This particular growth bed not really doing that well. I suspect because of this, because of the uh, grow, growing medium that I use is quite uh, small, so it tend to clog up. Also, this one is quite relatively new. This one is about two months old, so it does not mature mature that good yet. This particular growth bed, I'm using a pre-filter that I have a very long pre-filter, and uh, just filter the sediment out of the from the fish tank. This, uh, this this growth bag is already about six months old, and the growth medium that I select is a bit bigger. It's a mixture of smaller and bigger stones, and there's a few vegetable in here, namely the kangkong, uh, mint over there. There's a mint. And uh, I'm not sure what you call this vegetable, but it can be eaten raw with the kangkong and the mint. It's made a nice winter salad, but I never have winter here around here. Uh, this particular plant is the turmeric plant. I'm just trying it out, but it doesn't do very well. It's another turmeric plant. And somewhere inside here, you will have some uh, tomato. The, this tomato plant not doing that well, also. Well, I already have this system set up for about a year. Previously, it was another system, but this one is already a year. But this growth bed is about three or four months old. Right, the water will drain out here. This uh, water will drain from one of the growth pits to the Belva system. And uh, once the water level drop below the Belva water line, and it will cut off the water. Then the cycle will repeat again. Uh, so far, I managed to get the Belva to run successfully. I can say 99% of the time it works after a long uh, experimenting with various type of belva. So okay, water from the first growth period is stopping and it's just dripping because of the slight drip that I incorporate into the valve system 
and water from the other drop bit is uh, just about to start to flush it's some time for it to flush because I'm using a very small uh, aquarium pump motor it's about uh, 12 or 14 watt motor at night this uh, water pump will, will be stopped and at the same time I'm using a photo switch to turn on the bubbles, the air rater. So at night the pump will not be running so it will not make such a noisy uh, it doesn't make much noise in the back yeah. That particular water fountain is just to provide some aeration in the system. I cut up some of the kangkong and just put it inside this water, the pond, so that the fish uh, like to eat this uh, kangkong. I'm planning to dismantle the whole setup and make a bigger canvas pond something like uh, 4 by 10 or 4 by 11 to cover the entire length of this back the back my backyard then I can have the growth bit on top and it will probably make a much neater system The whole thing is more like an experiment to me because uh, I'm still yet to find a best solution or a good solution so that uh, the plant will grow well and the fish water will be filtered properly. Right, that's about all and uh, I hope to post more videos one at one.